I'm all alone, there's no one here beside me. And all my thoughts, and my personalities, and my mood swings. Oh, there's so much going on. I've never been truly left alone, so I'm always, there's always something going on up here. And cut, I'll submit the first part of that to a therapist, see what they think. A psychologist, have them study. They're gonna be like, no, I watched the whole video. You should not have your mental breakdowns in the kitchen, near the knives. Listen, let's set the scenario, okay? It's fall, leaves are falling, and there's gonna be some family gatherings, a friend's get together. You might see an old buddy, old pal in the grocery store, say, hey, let's meet up for coffee. And you gotta bring something. It's gotta be delicious, gotta be yummy. People gotta be asking you for the recipe. That's what we're doing today. I'm setting you up, not for failure. I'm setting you up so that if you wanna make these cranberry crumble bars, and if they don't turn out so good, you send people the video link. You like think mine were bad. Look what the heck she did. If you put two cups of water in a, in a bar, it's supposed to be a crunchy crumbly bar. Hers was mush and gush, and she had to scrape it out the pan. Those are my predictions for today's episode. <laughs> we're doing another one of these of like, who wants to be a baker? Me apparently, and we are trying to make something without a recipe today. This is a complete ripoff, at least the idea of what the, the Try Guys do on YouTube. They make great content, okay? I also suck at cooking, baking, mixing, really, I, you'll see. But uh, the Try Guys do it without a recipe. I do a similar thing, but I have um, lifelines because I need help. My lifelines, if I get stuck, I get to phone a friend, a little quick phone call. Hey, is there like such thing as like a thick water? I also get a quick Google search or slash look at the recipe. And also with what we've been doing with the past, this is like the fourth or fifth episode, go watch the other ones. I don't know the ingredients and I don't know the amounts. If I would like to look at the recipe and just look at the ingredients, I can do that. If I wanna look at just the amounts, I could do that. They are separated out on a piece of paper over there. I might have four cups, two cups, three cups, a tablespoon, but of what? You want to, that's all flour? Who knows? I know. Today we are making cranberry crumble bars because it's fall, cranberry fall. I think those go together. This recipe itself, the whole idea came off of bellyfull.net. There's a creator on TikTok, her name's Amy. She makes all the recipes over there. I'm pretty sure that's like, it's her whole website. It's all of her recipes. I've made stuff off there before. I made like some, some candy pecans or pecans. And I'm pretty sure I made a video about it because I couldn't decide if it was pecans or pecans. Um, they turned out fantastic. She's got great recipes. If this video doesn't turn out, well, this is no indication that the recipe's big because I'm not following the recipe. Following the idea. I sent it a trail. <laughs> Cranberry crumble bars? Some, something's gonna crumble today. Either my anxiety, my mind, my soul, might break a bowl or two. Who knows? Let's get started. And this is the worst part because I don't even know where to start. These are like feathers on a towel. Don't these kind of look like corn dogs? Blue corn dogs on a towel. Me and the home goods, they put corn dogs on a towel. This is nuts. This is innovative. This is design. It has a crust, something, and then crumblies on top. So we're gonna need cranberry. So my mom buys the ingredients for me so I don't look at them. She said something about frozen cranberries and said she couldn't find a frozen cranberry in the freezer section. She couldn't even find them canned. So she got fresh cranberries and then she put them in the freezer. They sound like marbles in a bag. Ocean Spray product of Wisconsin. Ocean Spray's in Wisconsin? What? I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use part of my Google search right now. Where is Ocean Spray based out of? Massachusetts. How did these come from Wisconsin? Obviously the recipe calls for cranberries. It's in the name. We're also gonna need some type of crumble, but we'll get to that. Hello? Just testing the product. These have little seeds in them. Can you eat the seeds out of a cranberry? That's kind of cool on the inside. I'm not mad about how it looks on the inside. That's kind of cool. You just gotta rinse these. Wash and rinse. How do you wash a cranberry? Like with, you do not put dish soap on a cranberry. It's frozen into one man. Do I really need two bags of cranberries? We really don't have room for other ingredients in this bowl. Oh, lost one. We lost one. Where'd you go? Instead of saying someone lost their marbles, what if you're like, she lost her cranberries? Did you hear what happened to Julia? She done lost her cranberries. Someone crumbled her cranberries. She didn't get no bars. I think we're gonna need sugar. Sugar. How much? Who knows? That's what's not important. There's four ingredients in the actual thick part. It's gotta be cranberries. It's gotta be sugar. It needs like a syrupy texture. I don't wanna mess this up. I want it to taste good. Uh. Do these need to be like mashed up? Like we're not putting whole cranberries in this, are we? How the, how do you mash frozen strawberries? Oh my God, did you hear that one? Sounded like a fart coming out. The pressure release off of that was crazy. Oh. I'm thinking we gotta mash them. I don't see how mashing them could hurt the recipe. But if I don't mash them, just two forks. 
This could take hours. We're abandoning this idea. I mashed like 10. What if the sugar just sticks to it and then that's not right? And then that's not right! Why did that probably just look like I was yelling into the sugar? That's not right! I'm just gonna put in a cup of sugar. Why did I pick a cup? I don't know. I think you need a lot of sugar. What does a cranberry even taste like? What the hell is that? What is that? It's so sour. We might need more sugar. That's like more potent than a lemon. I don't even like cranberry. I like cranberry juice. God, it's just lingering in my mouth. I got some sugar on my lips. Actually, I'm eating my chapstick. I'm definitely eating my mint chapstick. If I was stuck in the woods and I didn't have any food, I'd be eating my chapstick. Oh, you better believe I have my chapstick on me. I'm eating my chapstick. I don't care. I'm gonna look at the ingredients part. I'm not gonna look at the amounts. Okay? Everybody fine with that? They're like, oh, she's only two ingredients in and she already is cheating. I'm not cheating. I'm using a lifeline. If I want to go on who wants to be a millionaire and on the second question, what type of bear is a black bear? Answer, black bear. If I want to say I want to phone a friend just for a phone call, just for a little chit chat, that's, I will. I need frozen cranberries. Do not thaw, it says. Sugar, cornstarch, and orange zest. We need cornstarch. How much cornstarch would you put in here? What does cornstarch do? The one cup of sugar in there is supposed to save us from how sour that is? I'm putting another cup of sugar in. You didn't taste what I tasted right there. Oh my, two cups of sugar. I should write this down. You're telling me she bought an orange, look at that. I think we might as well cut a couple sl slices and squeeze them in. Didn't we run into this problem during the lemon bars? Do we have a zester? I think this is a cheese grater, but is that not the same thing? Should I have washed the orange? <laughs> it's not coming off the orange. The orange is not giving up the zest. Imagine I was a tour guide for an orange orchard. Orange orchard, apple orchard, orange. Orange tree grove. I think it's a grove. Orange grove. You're doing amazing, sweetie. I'm just gonna squeeze some orange of this in here. This is a secret ingredient of the recipe. Cornstarch is a powder. Thick. Oh my god, it says what it does right on here. Thickens sauces and gravies. Great for baking. It's supposed to thicken it up. It's already thick. It's not even a sauce yet. We don't need to thicken it up. I'm trying to think, does a recipe ever call for a shit? Does a recipe ever call for a shit ton of corn corn cornstarch? Cornstarch. That's the knockoff version of cornstarch. That's like when you're not sure of someone's name. You think someone's name is Brian. You're like, <laughs> yeah, isn't that funny, Brain? And he's like, my name's Brian. I'm like, of course it is. That's what I thought it was. You just changed the name just enough. You're like, isn't that right, Mike? <laughs> my name's Steve. Oh. <laughs> Mike and Steve, Steve and Mike, 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 Steve, Steve, Steve. Say it has one syllable. Common mistake. Easy mistake. You have a mistakable face. <laughs> What was it again? Steve? I'm gonna do another quarter cup. We're going in and a half cup of cornstarch. There ain't nothing to thick up. Th I took the N off of that. Thicken. Thicken up. Thick up. You walk into Thanksgiving dinner. We're here to thick up. For orange, I put orange zest. One. Plus slice. Does cornstarch taste like anything? Tastes like nothing. Let me put the lid back on because I keep shooting out of here. One tablespoon of cornstarch equals two tablespoons of flour. Oh my god, my mom put a kitchen conversion sheet on the fridge. Four tablespoons are in a half a cup. We So we put eight tablespoons of this, and eight tablespoons of this equals 16 tablespoons of flour. You lost me. 16 tablespoons of flour has got to be at least a cup. This is like equivalent to like a cup of flour. This bowl feels like the Titanic, and it's about to go down. Cranberries are jumping ship. They're just jumping out of the bowl. We're running out of bowls. Put this over here. For the next part, we gotta make the top and the bottom layers bowl. First, I'm not gonna look at the ingredients for the top and bottom layer. I'm gonna look at the amounts. And my mom puts them in order from need it the most to need it the least. So the first part is two cups. And I've known from past experience, two cups probably means flour. Flour is one of the bases of like a cheerleader pyramid. Flour holds it down. Flour holds you up. Flour is the structure, the foundation, the base. And sometimes you need two cups of it. Flour is your friend. Flour is the is the type of friend that no matter what type of shit you're in. Ray M call. Hey, I murdered a guy, hit him with my car, he came out of nowhere, I kinda swerved, kinda clipped him, he pissed me off, he ran the red, I caught up to him. They go, hey, we don't talk about this over the phone. Meet you at the spot, 10 minutes with a shovel? And I'm gonna need an iced coffee. That's flour. Flour will get you out of trouble. All the recipes call for flour. <laughs> That's one cup. Two cups. There's one cup, one cup, one cup, half cup, half. Quarter cup, one teaspoon, half a teaspoon, quarter teaspoon, one teaspoon, one teaspoon. Is there just one of anything? I need one, I'm sure, I bet it's one egg. Accidentally, when I was flipping the recipe over, I did see that we need vanilla and it's the last ingredient. Okay, sue me, I can't. One teaspoon of vanilla. One cup, one cup, is it a cup of flat, uh, cup of sugar? Oh, we don't need this other scoop. Thank you for your service. Cup of sugar going in. Another cup and another cup? Maybe a cup of brown sugar? 
do we be needing this much sugar? Okay, that's like a cup of brown sugar. We need a little bit extra. We just got an unexpected lifeline from my mother. She's out of town. She just... When did this happen? Go oh, for a shit. When did this happen? Oh, the kitchen's dirty. There's something stuck to my foot. What is this? What is that? My mom just texted me. She goes. There's obviously more to the recipe. What is this, a game of Clue? I gotta figure out who, what, where, when. You're gonna need to get butter out of the freezer and let it sit out for a little bit. So cold. She, you can tell she's voice texting. I think I didn't get and I just ran out. Remember, you're gonna need to get butter out of the freezer and let it sit out for a little bit. So cold. So cold. What is cold? The butter? Do you think this recipe calls for butter? It doesn't say one stick. It might need butter. This is unsalted butter and there's half a stick. I need another cup, a half cup, a quarter cup, a half, I don't know. I think I'm gonna flip it over and just look at the ingredients because what are we doing? Oh shit, no. <laughs> okay, so the, <laughs> now I'm just looking at the ingredients. No measurements. The second ingredient is oatmeal oats. Oatmeal oats, that's, we're unlocking a new ingredient. We have never used oatmeal oats on this channel before. How much did I need a cup? Oh, so we didn't need a cup and a cup of sugar. No, no, we needed a lot less. <gasps> Why is there a scoop in here? Have we been missing that? There's half a cup in here. Okay, that's half a cup. We needed a cup of oats. That's done. I'm gonna put that back. I don't know why that measuring cup was living in there, but that's where it goes. It says butter cut into cubes. How much a cup of butter? I think it wasn't like one cup. It was like two cups, one cup, one cup, one cup. Four tablespoons. I'm looking at the conversion chart. Four tablespoons is a quarter of a cup. That means there's 16 tablespoons in a cup. I need two sticks of butter. Oh, I'm gonna tell you right now, I hate butter in these recipes. Butter and cream cheese in these recipes always bite me in the ass. They always gotta be thawed out or room temp, cut into squares. I don't like working with butter. It's always the wrong consistency and temperature. Now, can I melt these? No, it says I need squares of butter. When? How would I even be? Am I just laying the butter on top? Butter squares? Am I putting a layer of this and then butter squares and then the cranberries and then another layer? The butter sticks are in my waistband. I'm gonna try and thaw them out the old fashioned way with body heat. Well, I need, I need baking powder. Baking powder. Argo also makes cornstarch. Look at that. How much do I need? Baking powder? Maybe like a quarter cup. Baking powder is on the list. Like, it's like right below halfway down the list. So I don't need the most of it. I don't need the least. I'm gonna say a quarter cup of baking powder. Quarter cup baking powder. We need cinnamon and we need salt. Cinnamon and we need some salt. Some salt. The sweat dripped down my balls. So all you bitches crawl. How much cinnamon? Probably small amounts. We did it. We need more than a teaspoon because vanilla was the last ingredient. That was a teaspoon. That means we need more than a teaspoon of cinnamon and salt. A tablespoon of cinnamon. What comes before? Cinnamon is above salt. Oh my, okay. That is a tablespoon of cinnamon. I'm gonna go half a tablespoon of salt. It's all just pouring out around. Okay, I feel like that's a sh Like all the salt was just falling in around the measuring. So that's gotta be at least half a tablespoon. I forgot to put the oven on. I'm gonna say 380. I don't know why, that's what I feel like. That's what I want. This butter is freezing. I'm gonna move my butter over here. Oh! Butter in my pants. She's got butter in her pants. No, really. Two sticks. You need a stick? Brought it over. I need pecans finely chopped. These are walnuts. I don't think we have pecans. I also think my mom said that she forgot one of the nuts. Between her and I, there is no recipe. Is there cinnamon on my phone? Good thing I'm not allergic. I'm like on a phone call. I'm like, what is the closest nut to a pecan? Walnuts or almonds? What can I substitute for pecans if I have a nut allergy? That's not what I said. You can use almond. An almond is the seed of an almond tree. This, okay, if I was allergic, we would be using almond. And there's some slivered almonds right here that's pretty close to finely chopped. Just smaller chunks than what they were before. That sounds fine to me. That's a half cup of almonds. Okay, besides the butter, that's the whole thing. I didn't put any water in there. Look at me, growing, learning, evolving. This is what it looks like. It does make life easier when you don't add the wet and the dry ingredients at the same time. The wet ingredients always show up fashionably late to the mix. So they gotta come in last. It's like being at a party and everyone's drinking, having a good time, and someone walks in with a bottle of Jägermeister and you're like, <laughs> we're about to black out. I'm gonna wake up in a bush, that's for sure. You guys can't find me tomorrow. You know, put my, put my face on a milk carton. Make sure it's 2%. That's the kind of milk I like. 
That's my crowd. No, chocolate milk. The battery died on me. Do, do they sell strawberry milk in like the old school cartons? Well, they should make purple milk. I don't know what flavor that would be. Blueberry milk? Shut up. She works hard for her money, so you better treat her right. One egg is gonna fill in all the cracks and crevices of putting in the amount of brown sugar, sugar, oats, flour we put in here. I think we need seven eggs. I really need to make these with a chef. And as I'm saying things out of my butt and getting things wrong, I'm like, I feel like you need seven eggs and a recipe minimum. I need a chef to come out of nowhere, like Gordon Ramsay style, with a special being like, no, no, that's wrong. Get that thought out of your head. We don't need seven eggs. I go to reach for the faucet. They're like, no, stop putting water in everything. You don't need water. You wash down what you're eating with water. You don't need to put in the recipes. That egg did nothing. That egg got absorbed so fast. Damn, disappeared in the recipe. How is that gonna be in the top and the bottom layer of anything? I'm gonna cut it out of the video, but I just attempted, I was like, these aren't melting. I attempted to put the butter in the wrapper on the wire rack of the oven. Started sizzling and melting the paper. So I just, I just took it back off. We're gonna find another solution. Okay, because we have a butter conundrum, this is not anything. We're gonna have to look at the recipe. How, are, how, how do we assemble this? Oh, the oven's ready. I'm gonna put a minute on the clock. And I have a minute to look at the recipe. Go, go, tart, crumbly. Where's the rest? Quick and easy, versatile. Quick and easy, who are you talking? Prepare the pan, preheat 375. 375, we're too hot, we're too hot. L line a baking dish with parchment paper. I don't think we have parchment paper. I'll look for it later. Make the dough, combine the flour, roll pecan, and the egg mixture with a fork. Press half the mixture firmly into the baking. Cut in the butter the butter with it resembles coarse crumbles. Then, what? Cut in the butter to resembles coarse Then, stir in the egg. Press half the mixture with a fork. Make the cranberry mixture assemble. Spoon the cranberries over the crumble. <sighs> Sprung, sprinkle the remaining crumble on top. Bake for 40 minutes. What if we don't have parchment paper? Room temperature, fridge. They'll keep the going for the longer in the fridge. Fruit, okay, fridge, okay. Did I need more time? We're cutting the squares of butter into the recipe, which makes it the crumble, which meant that's so smart. This butter was in the freezer and then in my pants and now it's in the microwave. Is it room temp? No, I hate working with butter. I need it so it doesn't melt, but that's so it's malleable. I'm gonna slice this butter with our orange knife. That's pretty good. I also don't, I don't think we have, I'm just cutting, slicing and dumping. I don't understand how one stick of butter does not constitute one cup. I mean, maybe melted. She's going in. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Why am I not cutting this on the table? You might ask. I don't know. I thought maybe you'd want to see it. Might be a hot plate. They just came out of the microwave. I want to put it on the table. Might burn through the countertop. I've resorted to just using my hands to crumble the butter. Would you like someone to be assigned to crumble your butter? They call me the butter crumbler. You need something crumbled? Call me. And the recipe called for adding in the vanilla and the egg even after the butter crumbles. So now I'm rethinking when to add the wet ingredients. Does it, it goes dry in a bowl, wet in a bowl. If you're going to add something like butter, which is in between a solid and a liquid, technique, it's kind of... Oh, it's kind of both. Give me that. You add that before. Okay, I don't know if we have parchment paper. We've got saran wrap. My mom the other day, there's oil in here, like, I don't know, it's vegetable oil or whatever. She's talking to me because she knows I make these videos and she goes, no recipe calls for that much vegetable oil. You know that, right? And I was like, yeah, I don't think I ever even use vegetable oil. You're just, I think you're using all my vegetable oil. And I was like, I never, I don't, I don't think that's incorrect. Okay, well, I'm just, I've been running out of vegetable oil. I don't know where it keeps going. I was like, I cannot tell you the mystery of the vegetable oil. I have no idea. This is what we're working with for crumbles. A bunch of powder next to clumps of butter. And then I can see the oats in there. It looks like gravel. Oh no. What did we do wrong? <laughs> no. Why does this look like a make your own sandcastle at home type of project? When you get those blocks and you can like dig in them and do like archeological finds for bones. We're searching for deliciousness. I don't know if we'll find it in this pan. Just to firmly press this down. This is gonna be a butter pocket right here. What happened here? I never made a crumble bar. The oats and the sliver of almonds makes it look like there's like twigs in here. Like shards of wood. This looks like I'm making a casserole for a beaver. And then this over here has just been fermenting. Okay, I guess we're just the amount of sugar stuck to the spoon. This is almost too much for this pan. Okay, there's that layer. Let me just put this on top. <laughs> I feel like I'm laying like bricks and I'm just filling in the gaps. You know what this recipe has? It has chunks. It's got chunks of cranberries. It's got chunks of butter and it's got chunks of sugar. And hopefully all of that bakes off into a nice cranberry crumble. Everyone gets settled in. Cause you're about to get baked in. 
This is the thickest, densest thing we have ever put in the oven. The recipe said 40 minutes. I could do that. It'd probably take me 40 minutes to clean up. I'm not gonna lie, it smells so good in here. It smells like sugar and br- Shut up! You'd think I'm gonna have to pull out something amazing from the oven. I think it said bake for 40 to 45 minutes. I left it in for about 45, 50. The ends of it, you'll look, you'll see, you'll see. Let me pull that. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> so the sides are hella caramelized, which I think is good. I think that's what it's all supposed to look like. And then the middle, I was like, the middle's not even cooked, but it is. It's a little sawdusty, but then other parts are like actually baked in. Oh, it's moving. Oh, some of the cranberries in here are like straight up exploded. Look at that, I can't tell. Oh, it just popped. I baked it for as long as it said it should and then it says try it when it's fully rested. I'm gonna let it sit. I also never made a phone call today, but we can use the phone call we are gonna make is I gotta call my grandma. I'm supposed to take my grandma and her friends to a Thanksgiving dinner today. She calls lunch dinner and dinner supper. So she means it's a lunch, like it's a Thanksgiving lunch. Is she up? She'll be up till four in the morning, but she'll sleep in late. Hello? How you doing? Oh, all right. Just, just watching TV. Well, let's we'll see that. I'll tell you what. Okay, sounds good. I don't know how this happened. Look at this, like, snot bubble of a cranberry. That must be all the sugar. That tastes pretty good. What I just tasted tasted really orangey. I think that orange juice in there, probably the best thing I ever did. We'll try that later. I gotta go clean my trunk out. Okay! This has been sitting here for a good 35, 40 minutes. Let's just cut a slice of the golden part. <laughs> this is not gonna come out of here nice. <laughs> we got the crumble part down. Now if it could just stay in the shape of a bar. Yeah, I can't really get a piece cut out of it. Besides, it's just kind of a mush, mush and gush sort of situation. Hers was mush and gush, and she had to scrape it out the pan. Those are my predictions for today's episode. <laughs> if I ever come up with a recipe, I would call it the mush and gush situation. Let's try this. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, well, it's stuck in my teeth, for one. It just tastes like a bunch of sugar, like a sugar paste. And there's like a punch of a cranberry coming through. You like have to chew it with your mouth open. Your teeth will get stuck together. It's making me thirsty. It's so thick. It's like crunchy gravy. Oh, how much sugar did I put in the thing? Two cups? This is the type of sweetness that like makes you want a vegetable. I would love a carrot right now. Let's look at the recipe. <gasps> you're kidding. Oh, you're kidding. I'm supposed to use a half cup of sugar. I put in two cups of sugar. No wonder this is literally a caramelized, crystallized mess. I used four times the amount of sugar we needed. Cornstarch, I needed a tablespoon. I think I put in a quarter cup. How many? I put four times the amount of cornstarch in, which, which thickens. That's why it's so damn thick. It makes sense. It makes total sense. We're learning stuff though. Okay. What is going on? For the crust, I did a cup of brown sugar, only needed half a cup. Cinnamon, I needed half a teaspoon of cinnamon and I put a tablespoon. Half a teaspoon? There's three teaspoons in a tablespoon. You're kidding. I used six times the amount of cinnamon that I needed. So can you even taste the cinnamon? It is really cinnamony. I was mistaking the cinnamon for orange. I don't know how you mix those flavors. Oh my God, there's so much cinnamon in it. Now that I just pinpoint what that taste was, the cinnamon ruined it. I needed a quarter teaspoon of salt and I put in half a tablespoon. Probably why it's making me so thirsty. Wow. They're supposed to be sweet but tart. How about soupy and cinnamony? I really like her recipes too because you look at the recipes, she tells you the ingredients that you need, but then she'll explain what the ingredients do, which for someone like me is so helpful. It's the why, the why are we using that? Um, baking powder helps develop a tender crust. Cinnamon adds a warm flavor to the, or you put a bunch of cinnamon in and then it's an overwhelming flavor and you can't really breathe and you kind of mistaken cinnamon for orange because you get flavor wires crossed and you can't remember what cinnamon tastes like until you think, oh, this must be cinnamon. And then you're like, oh my, that's a lot of cinnamon. Butter should be cold and cut into cubes. Mine was frozen, then in my pants, then microwaved, then cut into cubes, and then mushed and gushed. There's so clearly a crust, the filling, and then a crust. I'm not seeing the layers in mine. She puts tips and tricks at the bottom, like you could substitute this or like change the nut, try different berries. She goes, don't cut back on the sugar. Cranberries are very tart and need the sugar to balance out the flavor. I took that theory to heart. You know what it was when I tasted that cranberry in the beginning? 
my mouth, my taste buds were like in overdrive. They said, that is too tart. We're making a dessert. Desserts aren't necessarily tart. What is that? That's poison. We must smother it and cover it with sugar. And so I did. Self-sabotage. Okay, so there's that. We tried it. We tried it. We tried to make cranberry crumble bars. And it's not a bar and it doesn't crumble. But my gosh, is there a lot of cranberries in here. <laughs> I guess I'll see y'all next time. It would, maybe it would freeze into a bar. Oh, please, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the video. That is, that was something else. I feel like I had a sugar high and I'm like crashing. I feel like there's sugar running through my veins.